An update now to a breaking news story from over the weekend. The man who kidnapped his own child is being held on an $80,000 bond tonight. Yesterday, police called to the Wildwood Place Apartments. That's where detectives say 21-year-old Bryant Shelton forced his way into the apartment of his son's mother. Shelton is the non-custodial parent. Cops finally found him hiding in some trees and bushes. The one-year-old boy was not hurt. Many people in the Wildwood Park neighborhood were able to stay informed about the SWAT situation thanks to an app. It's called Next Door. WFFT's Cody Butler spoke to neighbors about the app today. He joins us live from Wildwood Park. Cody, how does the app work? Brooke, the Next Door app is like a community bulletin board in the palm of your hands. People usually post about lost pets or garage sales or services they may need. But yesterday morning, people here on South Washington Road were posting about a SWAT situation in their backyards. It was very helpful through that incident. We can find out what's going on. Neighbors say they use the Next Door app when police set up a perimeter in the neighborhood while they search for 21-year-old Bryant Shelton. In this case, uh, knowing what was happening and knowing the neighborhood was kind of on a lockdown uh, due to the police situation, uh, we were able to know about this and prepare for it and also to keep our eyes open if we saw anything. The app is designed as a social media tool specific for neighborhoods. There's sometimes you feel like Gladys Kravitz peeking in on people's um, privacy, but you also know that people are sharing it on there for a reason. The app just became available in the Wildwood Park area a few months ago. There are already more than 100 people who signed up. Fort Wayne City Councilman Jeff Paddock is one of them. And this is one way as a councilman that I can stay in touch or in tune with some of the things that are on people's minds. So it's another way of, of communication. It's a form of social media that I think is catching on. He says this is a great tool to get in touch with all 45 neighborhoods in the 5th District. Sometimes it's just information about a garage sale or a missing dog or cat, but sometimes it's uh, important information about what might be happening, like the incident that we had uh, in Wildwood Park on, on Sunday morning. Yeah, you feel a lot safer because there's another set of eyes looking out what's going on. And if there are crazy things happening, you're probably standing a lot bigger chance of finding out. Many neighborhoods in Fort Wayne are already using the Nextdoor app. To join your neighborhood, all we have to do is download the app for free in your phone's app store. Reporting live in Fort Wayne tonight, Cody Butler, WFFT Local News, First at 10.